Hello friends, this video on biological classification part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us talk about the structure of bias. As I said, they do not consist of cell. Now if they don't have cell, but we I also said that they have the genetic material. So let us have a look. What is a virus made up of? A virus is a nucleoprotein. What is nucleoprotein? Nucleoprotein. That is, when I talk about these genetic material, the ribonucleic acid or deoxyribonucleic acid, they are all, what are they basically? If you look at their chemical composition, they are all proteins. So, virus is nothing but nucleoproteins. They contain proteins and they contain genetic material in the form of RNA or DNA. So that is all about the structure of virus. Now, in order to protect this genetic material, there is a protein coat which is present and that is known as capsid. And this is how it looks like. So here you can see this black colored structure here, that is the protein capsid, which is actually pro protecting this genetic material, this coiled structure inside. Now this genetic material can be RNA or DNA. Now whatever it is to protect this because since there is no cell or cell membrane nothing. So just for protection you have this protein uh, cover which is called capsid. Now what is this capsid made up of? It contains helical arrangement of identical units and each unit is known as capsomeres. That means the capsid is made up of many small similar units. It is a repetition of similar unit and each unit is known as a capsomere. So this is all about the structure of a virus. It has genetic material, a protein coat called capsid. Capsid is made up of capsomeres. So now this is how the virus actually see. You can see these are all viruses. Now when the virus is outside, it will be inert. It cannot reproduce. Now as soon as the virus gets a living cell, so here this is a cell. Now you see here, if the virus comes in contact with the cell and if it somehow enters inside the cell, this RNA which has been shown here is the RNA which is present inside the virus. So this virus inside the cell will start reproducing and mutating. It will start multiplying. Multiplying. So now you see from that one virus which actually entered so many viruses were produced and so many viruses are released from here. So from just one virus so many viruses produced just because it could enter a living cell. Right. So this is about the structure of a virus. Now these viruses again what kind of genetic material the virus will contain whether it will contain RNA or it will contain DNA that again depends on where the virus is living. Now the virus can live inside a plant body they are called plant virus. Viruses which live inside an animal body or which enters an animal body they are called animal viruses. Viruses which enters a bacteria they are called bacterial viruses or bacteriophages so let us see how the genetic material varies in each of these viruses so if i talk about the plant viruses they consist of a single strand of rna so this is how it would be now what are plant viruses you would have often seen that in plants a disease called potato spindle disease so you would have often seen that in plants some viral diseases happen because viruses start entering the plant. So this is how they look like. It is known as a mosaic disease and this virus is called mosaic virus. So this is how the leaves become then. So the plant viruses consist of RNA and that to a single strand of RNA. That means one strand like this. So one strand of RNA is there. When I talk about animal viruses like maybe the influenza virus or the measles virus or the flu virus, when I talk about such viruses, they contain double strand of RNA or DNA. So it might be RNA, it might be DNA, but they contain double strand, somewhat like this. If I talk about the bacterial viruses, which are also known as bacteriophages, this is another name for bacterial viruses. So this is how the bacterial viruses attack. These are the viruses if you see here and they attach themselves to a bacteria. So this structure is a bacteria and these are the viruses and they try to enter inside the bacteria. 
they contain double strand of DNA. So here you can see how a virus infects a bacteria. So this is a virus which has its uh, genetic material enclosed inside the protein capsid. Now it attaches itself to the bacteria. This is the bacteria and the virus attaches itself to the bacteria like how it has attached itself here. So this attachment is shown here like this. Then what does it do? It sends its genetic material inside the bacteria. Now this is the viral genetic material green color and this is the bacterial genetic material. So now this genetic material will combine with the bacterial genetic material and then the virus will start multiplying and it will therefore infect the bacteria. So that is how the viruses attack other living host cells. So that is about viruses. Let us look at some of the viral diseases which are very common in human beings as well as in plants. Some of them are smallpox, influenza, mumps, measles, AIDS. In plants, if we talk about dwarfing in plants, that is retarded growth in plants, mosaic formation in plants, which I showed in the previous slide. So these are some of the very common diseases caused by viral infection. Let us now talk about another type of organisms called viroids. Now, as the name says, they are very much related to viruses. So let us see what are they and how do they differ from viruses. The word viroid means virus-like, that means something which is very similar to virus. Now, if it is so similar to virus, why do we need to separate, need to group them separately as viroids? Let's see why did we do that. They are even smaller than viruses. So now just imagine how small they are. Viruses itself are smaller than bacteria and now these viroids are even smaller than viruses. They are also infectious agents like viruses. That is, they are also non-living outside and they become living when they get inside a living host cell. They are composed of free RNA. They also consist of genetic material. There is no protein code in viroids. This is one important difference between viruses and viroids. And that is why they have been grouped separately. Right? So, with this, we end our discussion on um, viruses and viroids. And... Uh, as I said, we will go ahead with the kingdom plantae and the kingdom animalia in our subsequent lessons. So for now, let us look at some of the questions. Let us see how much could you... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.